What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a mat Pilates workout using ankle weights and a yoga block. Um, yoga block is optional. I'll show you once we get into things where this is going to be headed. Uh, ankle weights also optional. So if you don't have them, it's not a big deal. I'm using my one pound Bala bangles. I always link these down in the description so you can like have the exact same ones that I have. If you want to, if you would like to twin with me, I would love that. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to put my Bala bangles on so that we don't have to do it later. Okay. You can admire my my St. Louis blues leggings. We're going to start with a little bit of breathing, just like normal. So you can sit cross-legged, you can put your legs out in front of you, whatever you prefer, take your hands right to the tops of your legs. And we'll start by taking a nice deep inhale. You'll lift the shoulders so they come up to the ears. And then we'll take a big exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, let it all go. Good. Three more like that. Big inhale. And we'll exhale, take things down and back. Good. This will be two big inhale. And we'll exhale, take things down and back. Last one, big inhale. We'll exhale, take things down and back. Good, from here, just take your hands right behind you. Uh, feet are gonna come out in front of you. We're just gonna drop knees from side to side. I'm really tight in my hamstrings and my hips today. So um, we're just gonna see how this goes for us. I think it'll be just fine. But in case I wimp out, I want you to keep going in my honor. You know, okay, do one more to each side, one more to the right, one more to the left. We're gonna swing everything around. We'll lay all the way down onto our mat. We're just gonna start off with a little bit of articulation so we can get some movement in our spine. So feet about hips distance on your mat. We'll keep the hands down by our side. Shoulders are gonna press down. We'll take an exhale. You tilt the hips up and under, roll your hips up into a bridge. Inhale at the top and then exhale, draw belly button to spine. Roll your hips all the way back down. We're gonna do that six more times. So we exhale, press up. Inhale at the top, take a pause, exhale, roll it right back down. Good, that's six. This is gonna be five. This will be four. Good, this is three. This will be two. Oh wait. Three, <laughs> I can count you guys, I swear. Exhale, we'll press up, this is gonna be two. And last one, I'm pretty sure that I messed up, but hold your hips up at the top once you get there. Take a breath, inhale. And then you're gonna give me 10 pulses of the hips. We go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, you lift those hips up nice and high. You're going to take a big exhale, lift the heels, lower the heels for 10. Good. We go for nine. This is eight. You have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, you hold the heels up nice and high. We do 10 pulses of the hips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, take everything down, roll those hips down. You can hug your knees into your chest, rock a little bit from side to side if that feels good. And then we'll just roll over so we come onto our left side. I want your left hip down on the mat. We're gonna go left forearm down on the mat today. Okay, so shoulder right over the elbow. We'll get hips stacked on top of each other. And you can tuck the knees in underneath you so you're like almost in a fetal position, but not really, right? It's not a comfortable fetal position. We're gonna take that right leg. You'll extend it out um, so it's out in line with your hip. And you'll just take an inhale. You're gonna kick your leg forward to me. You'll exhale, flex your foot. You take it back. Inhale, kick forward. Exhale, take it back. Nice and simple. Just a kick. Right? No big deal. Good. We just want to make sure the hips stay stacked right on top of each other. And if pointing and flexing your foot gets a little bit too complicated, just take it out. Pick one or the other. It doesn't really matter. Good. Let's do three more. Three. We'll go two. Oh my God. Why can't I count? This is two. 
Oh my gosh, last one. You're gonna hold your leg up in line with your hip. We're just gonna lower and lift the leg. You can point the toe, you can flex the foot, doesn't matter. We inhale, lower, we exhale, lift. Good, lower and lift. Now your toe can tap all the way down to the mat. That's cool with me. We're gonna add on a little bit to this if you can even believe it. Good, three more. Three, we'll go two. And last one, good, take it down. Okay, we're gonna keep going with that lower and lift, but every time that you lift, we are also going to lift our bottom hip. So we'll take a big exhale, we lift the leg, we lift the hip, you'll sweep that right arm up overhead. Inhale, we take things right back down. We lift and we lower. Good. Good. Let's do two more here, then we'll hold up at the top, two. Last one, we're gonna press and hold. Look at you, you're pretty much in a side plank. You're gonna give me little pulses of that right leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, take everything down. You're just gonna, um, not everything, take your right foot down to the mat. Sorry, teaching's getting hard today. We do 10 pulses of the hips, we go 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, take everything down, lower your hips. We're gonna roll ourselves all the way over onto our mat so that we're belly down. Do a little bit of work through the back. Um, forearms are gonna come down in front of you. I want you to stack your forearms right on top of each other. We'll bend the knees, take your knees out, maybe about mats distance apart, if that's comfortable on your hips. And then press your heels into each other, turn your toes out. We'll take a big exhale right here. I want you to press your heels up to the ceiling, squeezing into your glutes. We'll inhale, take things right back down. We'll press up and pull down. We'll go for 10 more, 10. We go nine. This is eight. Seven, this is six, we have five, four, three. Press those heels into each other for two. Last one, you lift and hold, you give me 10 pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take your legs all the way down, unfold so your legs come out about mat's distance, hands come underneath the shoulders, we exhale, press the chest up. We inhale, take it right back down. We'll do that four more times, press up, pull down. Good, let's go, three. This will be two. And last one. Good, lower down and then press yourself all the way back into a child's pose. Hips to heels, arms go long, press your palms down into the mat so you get a little bit of traction right there. And then once you're ready, we'll bring ourselves up. We'll come over onto the right side of our body. We'll do that same little sideline series over on the left leg. My hamstrings are feeling it, you guys. Right forearm goes down onto your mat. We'll go right hip down on the mat. We'll stack the hips, we stack the knees. Stack your shoulder so it comes right over your elbow. Okay, when you're ready, if you need an extra second to mentally prepare, by all means, you take it. When you're ready, you're gonna lift your left leg so it comes up in line with your hip. You point that toe, make sure that you're not pulling down into your mat. So you press that top hip down, you lift up and away in your right side body. You'll take an inhale, kick your leg forward to me, exhale, flex your foot, sweep it right back. Now in this position, just because of how our body is positioned here, it's gonna feel a little bit wobbly, right? It feels maybe like not the most comfortable thing in the world but you do hard stuff every day. This is not gonna be the hardest thing that you do today unless you've got a really easy day scheduled after this workout. Good, if you start to feel tension in your neck, you point your gaze down towards your right forearm. You take it from there, that's cool with me. Let's do four more, four. We'll go three. This is two. Oh my gosh, last one. Ouch, keep your leg up in line with your hip pointer, flex your foot, doesn't matter to me. We lower, we lift, lower and lift. Oh man, you guys, that's the thing that put me over the edge right now. I'm like sweating. Ouch, let's do four more, then we add on the fun stuff. That was four, three, 
we'll go to and last one lower down take a second mentally prepare because now you know what's coming we'll take a big exhale you're going to lift that bottom hip lift the left leg sweep that left arm up and over inhale we take things right back down we lift and we lower are you having fun yet this is kind of ouchy three more this is three if you need to adjust, readjust. This is going to be two. I always feel like we get into the weird stuff and I'm like, why does my body feel so weird? Last one, we're going to hold up. You can hold your arm so it's right up above your shoulder. You give me 10 pulses of that left leg. This is eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the left foot all the way down. You can keep your left arm above your shoulder. 10 pulses of the hips. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We take everything down. You take a deep breath. You're doing good. Okay. From here, now we're going to grab onto our yoga block. Okay. So if you want to use the yoga block, great. If you don't have one, it's not a big deal. You're going to be able to do all of this stuff without it. Okay, but we'll make our way up into a tabletop position. Now that our hips are nice and warm and feel like they're gonna fall off. <laughs> no, just me? Okay, cool. From here, we'll take that yoga block. You're gonna step your left knee up on top of that yoga block. Make sure it's at a point that you could still tuck your toes under onto the mat if you needed to. Hint, hint, you will need to. Okay, hands are gonna stay down on your mat. You go up. But shoulder distance apart. We'll spread those fingertips nice and wide and we're going to reach that right leg back behind us. We'll take a big exhale. You draw your knee in towards your chest, strong belly button to spine. We inhale, shoot that right leg right back out. Big exhale, pull in. Inhale, press out. Now, if you need to tap those left toes under to your mat, you go ahead and do it if that makes you feel more secure. And again, you can do all this stuff without the yoga block just elevating us a little bit so we get uh, a little bit of a bigger range of motion in that right leg. Good, let's do four more. Four, three. God, my ponytail's like getting into my mouth. This is two. And last one. Good, you shoot that right leg out. You keep it up in line with your hip. Draw belly button to spine so you're in a neutral spine. We'll take an inhale. You kick your right leg out to the side. We exhale, squeeze it right back in. We'll do four more like that. Out and in. We'll go three. This is two. And last one. Good, now from here we draw a pretty big circle with that right leg. So we're gonna go out to the side. We'll circle down around and back up. We'll do four of those, or four more, I should say, five total. This will be three, two, and last one. Good, take your circle the other way. We do five reps, five, four, three, two, and last one. Now, if you can, you keep your right leg up in line with your hip. Here's where things are gonna get a little bit dicey. We'll take an inhale. You kick your right leg out towards the right side of the room. You'll exhale, sweep it back. When you sweep it back, I want you to spin that left foot back towards the back edge of your mat. Left hand stays down. We're gonna stack the hips on top of each other. Reach that right arm up. You lift the right leg. You lower the right leg so it's still in line with your hip. Okay, and then we'll take ourselves back down. So right hand comes down, you'll spin that left foot back. We keep the leg lifted. If you wanna tap it down between reps, you tap it down, okay? I'm gonna take my AirPods out for this because they will get in the way. Okay, we don't have room for any nonsense today. We'll lift that right leg up. You're gonna inhale, kick out to the right. Exhale, sweep it back. Keep it up in line with the hips. Spin those left toes back, tuck your toes under. That will help. You lift the right leg, you lower the right leg. Right hand comes down. Okay, so we square the shoulders off to the mat. We spin that left foot back. We tap the right foot down. We'll do three more like that. Lift, kick, spin back, reach up, lift, lower. Tap the toes down. Lift, kick, open up. So you stack your hips, 
lift, lower, reach that right hand down, spin back, tap the toes down. This will be our last one. We lift, kick, spin back, stack the hips, lift, lower, take it down, spin that left toe down, lower the right leg down. Now you can drop your knee back, take a little child's pose. It's gonna feel weird because your left knee's up on a block, that's okay. Whew, we'll take the same thing over on the other side. So I'm gonna flip around so you can see me on this side. You take your block with you if you like that. If you didn't like it, maybe ditch the block. Try this next round without it, that's cool too. Um, your block comes down on the mat. You move your sweaty hair out of the way. Hands come down to your mat. Right knee is gonna hop up onto your block. So right away, we're elevated. Shoulders are right over your wrist. You're spreading your fingertips nice and wide. If you feel like you wanna tuck your right toes under onto your mat, you go ahead and do it. We'll lift the left leg so it comes up in line with the hip and you'll take a big exhale. Pull the knee in towards the chest. Inhale to lengthen right back out through that left leg. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, lengthen out. Good. Okay, how do your legs feel? Mine feel horrible. But if I say it with a smile, it's a little bit better, right? Hope so. Okay, let's do three more. Three. We'll go two. And last one, you kick that left leg out, you hold it right there. We'll just open and close. Good, we open and close. Now that I'm doing this, I don't even remember if we did this on the other side. I think we did though. Good. We'll do three more. Sometimes I get into the zone with teaching. And I'm like, wait, did we do this? And last one, you're going to draw a circle from there. So you kick your left leg out. We'll circle down around and back up. We do five total. So this is four. God, I'm sweaty. Three. We'll go two. And last one, you lift that left leg back up. We take it out and around the other way for five. We'll go four. This is three. Two. And last one. Good. You can tap your left toes down for a second, right? Take a second to breathe. I'm going to come off of my hands because my wrist can't take it anymore. Oh, wipe the sweat away from your brow if you're like me and you just get really sweaty really quick. We're going to take that fun, fun little combo thing on the other side. So when you're ready, we lift that left leg up in line with the hip. You're going to inhale, kick out to the left side of your room. Exhale, sweep it back. You keep your leg in line with your hip. You're going to spin that right knee around. We'll stack the hips. You lift your left arm up. We'll lift, lower the left leg. Reach that left hand back down, spin the right leg back around, tap the toes down. Okay, lift, kick, pull back in. We spin that right knee out, so we stack the hips. We open up, little kick. Good. We're doing four more like that. Four. Good. Three. Ugh, my legs are getting so heavy. Ugh, this is gonna be two. And last one. And then everything can come down. You can tap those left toes down, take the knee down. You can take the block out of the way. Take a little child's pose. Arms go in front of you, hips go back to the heels. Take a nice deep breath. Good. And then from here, we're gonna swing everything around so that we lay down onto our mat, all the way down onto our back. We're gonna do a little bit of core work with the ankle weights, okay? You guys can't get away from core work in Pilates. Um, hands come down by your side, shoulders press down, triceps press down. We'll reach the legs so they go all the way up above your hips and you'll just start to crisscross your legs. So you can open out pretty wide into a V. We'll exhale, cross the legs, inhale, open, exhale, cross, open, cross, we open, Cross. You keep your legs right up above your hips at 90. And we just keep breathing right here. Now, if you're one of those people that like sees an opportunity for a crunch and you just like can't help yourself and you want to add it in, 
you go ahead and add it in. You can nod your chin to your chest, take your hands right out by your sides, hold up in that crunch if you like that. Awesome, if that's not for you, you keep your head down. Now for me, I'm not a crunch opportunist, I'm more of a push-up opportunist, so crunches aren't really for me, but if you like it, great. Okay, from here we add on. You'll keep crisscrossing the feet like this, but we'll start to lower and lift the leg. So that crisscross is gonna get a little bit smaller as you travel down, you only go so far as you can keep your low back stable on the mat. So for me, that was actually a little bit too low. Good, we'll come back up and then we go back down. We'll do this four more times. So this is four. If you wanna be up in your crunch, you go for it. This is three, forgot how to cross my legs for a second. This is two, it doesn't get any easier. And this is our last one. Good, now with that last one, everything can come down to your mat. You just take a second, you take a breath. We'll keep the legs up above the hips because we can, right? We're gonna bend the knees though and then take your knees so they're right up above your hips. All we're gonna do is squeeze those heels together. We're gonna exhale, extend the legs. Inhale, bend the knees, that's all it is. Extend and bend, extend and bend. Now again, if you see an opportunity for a crunch, you add it in, extend and bend. We'll go five more, five. This is four, three, ooh, two, and last one. Good, you bend your knees, you hold it there, open the legs up so they're about as wide as your hips. Clap your hands together. We exhale, crunch and reach the hands through the legs. We're gonna inhale, lower down, lift those legs up into a V. Exhale, crunch it up, we bend the knees. Inhale, we lower it down, legs into a V. We'll go for five. This is four. We'll go three, two, and last one. You crunch and hold. You hold your crunch, we'll extend and bend for six, five, for four. This is three, two, and last one. You'll kick your legs back up, tiny pulses in your crunch for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We take everything in. You hug your knees to your chest. You rock a little bit from side to side. Take a nice deep breath. Okay, you doing good? You feeling good? Great, because you made it all the way to the end. So you can just hang out here for a second. If you're ready, you can take your feet down to your mat, hands down by your sides. You'll just drop the knees from side to side. This is always one that I like. So you get a nice release through the hip and also through the low back. So if you are a person that like your back cracks super easily, typically when you do this, you'll feel it like right away. Okay, since we did a lot of stuff on our, on our little hippies, we're gonna take a figure four stretch, left foot down, right ankle's gonna cross over the top of the knee. Now from here, you can press your right knee away from you really gently with the right hand. Okay, we'll just hold right here for five, for four, three, two, and one, we take things in, cross it over to the other side, right foot down, left ankle over the top of the knee, left hand can come to your knee, you just really gently push away. Good, we hold for five, four, three, two, and one, you take things down. And then from here, we're just gonna roll ourselves all the way up, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Legs go all the way out in front of you, we'll take a big inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, we hinge at the hips, you forward fold, reach down for the toes, maybe you can pull the toes back towards your nose so you feel a nice big release at your calves and your hamstrings. We'll hold right here for five, four, three, two, 
And one, you can bring everything up. And good news, you made it all the way to the end. Remember, you guys are awesome. You can do anything you put your mind to. And I will see you in our next video. I just can't resist, yo. You got me thinking love.